my name is Henry Hollis Horton. I have just completed my second term as governor of the state of Tennessee. Welcome all you Tennesseans. I'm on the shore of my beloved Duck River here in Marshall County. I was elected to the Senate because of the folks in Marshall County and, and Lincoln County. And it may be because my farm here on the Duck River had provided jobs and, and economics incentives to the people of this area for many years. Uh, making me, I, I think the farm was more popular than me, but they voted for me because of the farm and because of the Duck River. I was born in Princeton, Alabama, and being the first of 12 children, I was the one that got picked to, for sure, go to school, and I love school, so. I felt very lucky, very blessed to be able to do so. I went to Scottsboro Academy in Alabama. When I finished that, I wanted to get a, a teaching job. So I went to Winchester, Tennessee and went to the Winchester College and, and uh, taught school for several years. Even went to Texas for a year to try to uh, start a new life and be a school teacher. But I didn't much like Texas, so back home to Tennessee I came. While I was in college there in Winchester, I happened to uh, get familiar with a little Miss Wilhoyt. Uh, her name was Adeline Wilhoyt. And she and I became very close. And eventually, I asked her to marry me. And for several years, we lived there in, in Winchester. Uh, I ran the, the Franklin County Bank. Uh, there in Winchester, got several offices uh, of public service uh, behind me as well, school board and election commission. Uh, but in 1911, Adeline's family came to us and asked, almost pleaded with us, to come to Marshall County, Tennessee and take over the family farm. And the family farm included a, a grist mill, a mill on the Duck River the Duck River and several wonderful acres. When I saw it, I fell in love immediately. So Adeline and I became farmers. Then in the 1920s, I decided that uh, public service, I still wanted to do some public service for the community. So I ran for state senate and got elected to the state senate under Governor Austin P. And Governor P. Uh, and I became good friends, and uh, we agreed on a lot of things. And I was happy to be the Speaker of the Senate, uh, right behind Governor P. But unfortunately, uh, a good friend passed away while he was in office, which meant that the Speaker of the Senate, myself, was first in line for succession to the, the governorship, succeeding Governor Austin P. when he died in office. But I did well, got elected to two full terms on my own. I wasn't very uh, versed in a statewide election, no. I knew how to relate to my, my neighbors and friends in Marshall and Lincoln County. But when it came to that first election when I was running on my own for the governorship, I sought out help. And Governor Austin P. had friends named Luke Lee and Rogers Caldwell, who knew a lot about maneuvering uh, a political uh, race through this uh, whole statewide uh, initiative. So I enlisted their help and was very successful. We did have enemies. Our enemies included a very powerful man in Memphis who we refer to as Boss, Boss Crump. And he fought against us. We made some agreements and got his support a couple of times, but mainly he was against us. And the second time I was elected, there had been something going on uh, in New York City and other parts of the country that finally filtered down to here in Marshall County by my first year in that second term. 
It was referred to as a depression. And unfortunately, we got caught up in that. Uh, Mr. Caldwell had some banking interest, and I thought it was prudent to store the, the state money in his bank. And when the depression reached Tennessee, his bank was declared unsolvent, which meant that the state money that I had put in his bank had disappeared. This presented an opportunity for my, my enemy, Boss Crump, and his allies. They came after me, saying that I had not followed the law, that I had wasted the state's money. They brought me up on articles of impeachment. But my friends turned out to be more numerous than Boss Crump's. So by nine votes, the impeachment was voted down and I was able to fulfill my office as governor of Tennessee. But after all that, I was tired of it. I wanted to get back to my beloved farm on the banks of the Duck River. The Duck River, which had provided power for the Wilhoit Mill, had provided water for the livestock and water for the crops. The Duck River and my beloved farm, I came home to be in the peace and quiet again.